Hi everyone, I'm Ben. I'm part of the elementary math team in Washoe County, and I'm also a dad. This is Ryan. Hi. He's a fourth grader, and he has agreed to show us how he logs into Envision from home. We've had lots of questions from students and parents about the best way to do that, and so I thought we could do a quick tutorial with Ryan on how to log into Envision from home. So I'm going to give Ryan the mouse. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, and he's going to take over. And the first thing you'll notice is that we're starting from the Washoe County School District website. And we always look for the, use the student parent tab, right? Mm -hmm. okay, so he'll click there. And then he's going to look for Envision Mathematics. There it is. That brings us to the big blue sign in bar. Okay, hang on before you click that. If you look underneath the big blue sign in bar, there's a reminder there. If you forget how to enter the username and password, you can look there. Because as soon as you click this, you're going to have to sign in. Uh, here, I'm going to show him something. Right here. There are two different ways you can sign in with the username. The first one is with the Washoe, the slash student ID number, or student ID number at washoeschools.org. The password, that's unique for every student, and they set that at school. And if that needs to be reset, you'll have to contact the school for that. Okay, so we're going to go back. Okay, Ryan, go ahead and sign in. Okay, so Ryan's going to enter his student ID number. And then he asks me to help him with this part sometimes because sometimes spelling at washoeschools.org is tough. And if you misspell it, you never get in, huh? Yeah, like if you spell Washoe with an S. Yeah, that's right. So now he's going to enter his password. He won't tell me what his password is. So this part's all him. Okay, go ahead and click sign in. And that'll bring us to the EasyBridge site first. And so from here you can see things like the grade level, but what, we're, what we are really looking for here is the Savas Realize over on the right hand side. Second button down. Can I click it now? Go ahead. Okay. And that'll bring us to Ryan's personal homepage for Envision. Which one should I click first? All right, will you click on classes first? Yes. Most of the time our students will go to classes first because that is where they will find their assignments. So right here I see that Ryan has three assignments that are not started, he has zero in progress, and he's got two that are completed. Don't click on that because we'll see your scores. Um, over here on the right hand side in classes you can always find the student's workbook, the e-text. You can also find the Game Center, the glossary, and math tools. Okay, go back out to your home page. So click on the Savas Realize again. And will you click on the Browse? So something that will be helpful at home for students and parents is you have access to a lot of the lesson materials right here. And so just go ahead and click on Topic 1, Ryan. Okay. So when he's in Topic 1, we can see all of the lessons in here. And so if there's a lesson our students are working on, we can go and find some materials from that lesson. For example, we can find the student workbook, we can find the solve and share that starts the lesson, the visual learning animation. But we can also find the Another Look video, and those are really great for parents and students to watch together because they go through the lesson and give you a pretty good idea of what that lesson is about. Yeah. So that's a quick tutorial on how to log in. I hope you find it helpful. Bye. So if you have any questions about logging into uh, Envision at all, that video is available and it will be available on the sign-in page itself. It is also available on uh, our various websites to assist you. So let's jump in and I would like to share just a few other features of what we can see in Envision as well. And so Ben really looked at this piece right here which is the classes piece and all the information that's available and classes. If you click on this green browse button, what you will find is that every unit, your child has access to every unit of, of instruction. So you could jump into the uh, topic that a child is in and to the lesson that the child is in. Here you can find even more resources to support you, in addition to these Another Look videos. If you would like the Another Look video in Spanish, you could download the Savvis Bounce Page app 
and that um, you could hover over a homework screen or any screen with a play button and that will bring up a video this video in English and in Spanish for you to choose and so Again, on that Washoe County School District website in the Family and Community page, we have additional resources for you to use. That's where the Bounce Page app is posted. Um, again, these resources will also be posted on other pages for your convenience as well. Uh, we also have a troubleshooting video. And so if you're having any trouble signing into Envision, uh, you could just click that video and play that video. And now we're ready for question and answer. Thank you, Denise. We really appreciate for you being here tonight. And for now, we will open it up for the questions that we have been receiving. Um, please note that we'll try our best to answer all of the questions tonight. And the questions that we don't have um, time for, we'll have answers on our website. So one of the questions we have is, is this for students attending school and doing distance learning periodically, or is this just for some schools, Denise? Thank you. This is for all Washoe County uh, kinder or all Washoe County second through fifth graders in regards to the uh, Envision materials. So what I just showed, every child has access to that. The uh, pass the username will be your students ID at washoeschools.org uh, The password though you will need to get from your child's teacher as Ben talked about in the video So if I forgot my child's um, password or my child forgot their password Can I call the school to get it? Yes, you can call the school and ask for your child's district password And are there math virtual classrooms for grades second through fifth? There are not virtual classrooms for second through fifth uh, because we have that full digital pathway. And so everything you will need for a second through fifth grader can be found right in that, uh, that Realize tab and in those Envision materials. All right, Denise, what about this question? Is, is an, an in-person student supposed to use Envision at home or only while they're at school? They can do it for both, at, uh, while they're at school and also at home. You'll find more and more of the teachers who are teaching at school will start sending some activities for use at home. And that's really helpful on days when uh, we have a full distance learning day for all students, that students with technology can still access these materials at home. Great. So for uh, a participant um, type that recently assessing ambition from Clever has not been working, what should we do when that happens? Yeah. So the best thing to do is to um, we actually suggest that all students log in through the um, through the district websites. So Washoe County, that students and parent tab and Envision. And if you want, Maria, I can show that real quick again, just so that they know where that looks like. It was in Ben's video as well. That would be great. Can you also do it in um, one of the requests? If you can do it in a slower uh, version, so people can see where you're going, please. Absolutely, and then I just need control. Thank you. All right. So from the school district webpage, just click here and let me actually grab an annotate tool just so that you can see. Um, and so you just ch click here, students and parents. Scroll down to Envision Mathematics. And then you will click right here that says sign in. We are updating this page. And so that video of how to sign in and also the troubleshooting video will be on this page. When you click sign in, you're not gonna see this because I'm uh, in a school district computer. Um, it will bring up another box that asks for your federated ID. And so that's where at home, your child is gonna have to put in that uh, student ID at washoeschools.org and then the password from the school. Once they get in, then 
that's when it will take them to um, a login page that looks something like this. And so when they log in, now for teachers have the ability to change this to a primary version. So if your child does not see this, please do not panic, but this is the, um, the default page. And so once here, the child could choose classes and all their assignments will again be right on this page. Um, and so if you could see, like I have three in progress and I've got three completed and nothing currently assigned. What's really nice about this page is even if your child doesn't have assignments, feel free to come in and play with the math tools. Right? So there's a bunch of math tools here that they can, that students can play with. Um, you can also play math games as well. And let me just show an example of what these look like. And so all the tools a child might use physically in the classroom, they have access to at home. Okay, um, thank you for showing that, Denise. You're welcome. Uh, can you talk about, um, there's a participant that would like to know about the troubleshooting guide again. Um, so I think they're referring to the troubleshooting video that was briefly mentioned. Is there a way you can show us where to find it? Um, I, I can, we will be posting that on that sign in page. So let me just uh, take you back to the Washoe County and I could just type in washoeschools.net on the students and parents and then envision math right on this sign-in sheet within the next couple days you will find that troubleshooting video and feel free you could reach out to me at any time um, via email and i'm more than happy to assist at home as well in fact if you look on this website right here that link links to my email and so again at any times for grades second through fifth you can email me if you're having any trouble logging in and i'll assist you with that so we have a question about um are they any additional and not sure if you can respond to this one but i'll just put it out there if any other panelists know uh, are there any additional resources for full distance learnings with an iep or 504 so for mathematics we could definitely assist with that um, and so again please feel free to reach out to me directly and i could share some of the tools that might be very be beneficial in addition i could share some um, documents that might assist as well i would rather do that one-on-one -on -one just um, to ensure that it's personalized for your child that sounds good thank you so much Denise, for being here tonight Again, if your if your question wasn't answered tonight, we'll find the answer for you and put it on the website. 